and welcome back for another episode of Color Your World with Diamond Painting along with me. Today we are going to set up a diamond painting, although you, you'll be able to tell that I have actually already set it up mostly. Um, so this kit I bought a little while ago. I actually bought two of them. I completed one for my niece. So I am going to be completing this painting for myself. And if you recall, I actually, I actually took and fixed this, repaired this canvas by removing all of the double-sided adhesive from it, which um, you need to do very carefully if you're going to do that, just so you know, because um, this actually happened due to me pulling off the double-sided adhesive. So I pulled off all of the double-sided adhesive and then I used dot stick from Diamond Dots. I bought this at Joann's. Um, and I use this to um, fix my diamond painting. I'm actually going to show you some tips and tricks um, how I do square diamond paintings. So, but first I'm going to go ahead and show you how to kit up. Um, I shouldn't need any tape. Um, you'll need scissors. You'll need your diamonds. Whoops. You'll need your diamonds um, with this company, which I do not recommend. Um, I thank you, hubby. I they give you an inventory sheet. They don't always come with inventory sheets, but so this came with an inventory sheet with it. I've already um, I've already put this. The, the other one through my label maker and then I cut them out and then I put them on the containers so that is you know all you do is cut this portion out that you need you um, you only need the number so I cut this little portion out stick it through my Zyron sticker maker and then they come out and it looks like a strip like this. Well, this is actually for a different diamond painting. But it comes out in a strip like this. And um, you just cut them individually off. And then you just pull them off and stick them literally onto the container. Um, so, um, I'm going to go ahead and start kitting this up and then I will actually be working on this diamond painting. Okay, so we got 9.27 and we have quite a bit of those. Let me just see. I was doing this um, in an old style way. I actually put the, uh, let's see, is it number seven? Nine, 27, nine, 27 is the number seven. Okay, so what I did is I put the symbol or letter or number on a little piece of paper. I don't do it this way anymore um, because that's the symbol. So, um, I don't do it this way anymore though. I just literally, um, stick it on the, uh, label on the outside. So, um, um, I think I'm going to only open one of these bags. Um, and if I need more, I will open more, um, just because... If I don't need to open it, 
extras, I will rather have them in their little bags than to try to have to find little, little baggies. So then I just open it up and dump it inside. I just like had a little bit of a panic attack because I thought they were different colors. <laughs> but I'm like, it can't be. But it's just the reflection of the, the shadow of the camera on it. I was like, oh my god. Okay. And I have no place to put trash. So we'll get it figured out, I guess. Just toss it on the floor if I have to. Okay, and I'm just going to do these in the order that they are open. So this one, 415. So 318, 413, 414, 415. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm super confused right now. Why do I have these labeled like that? I guess I didn't use the bottom of any of them. So I'm going to do the same thing I just did and I'm only going to open one bag because I don't know how many of these I will need. So 4, 318, 413, 414, 415. See, and I even did this in a little bit of a confusing way. <laughs> confusing way because... I don't know why I only labeled them one through four. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but we will just continue on. It's gonna be Probably a little hard working on this diamond painting. <sighs> but I really want to hang it up because um, we just moved into our new apartment and we like have different different places on the walls that we're gonna actually be setting up. And um, my husband and I are deciding, um, to make, like, a certain areas, a certain theme, and we just made our living room, um, one of our walls in our living room is Disney, the other wall is my, um, family portraits, which we have discussed getting his family portraits up there as well, so we're excited about that. That just means that he agreed to buy more diamond paintings <laughs> for me in the future. So I'm really excited about that uh, because he wants to do one of both sides of his grandparents and his also his parents. Um, cause I have my I have my uh, one set of grandparents because my paternal grandparents I was not I like met them once I think and um from what I was told they they wanted to have um more grandkids but they wanted they wanted boys and so they were not very I guess fond of having a granddaughter <laughs> so I saw them one time and they literally liked my brother, I guess, better than me. And so, um, and my brother um, has a different dad than me. So, you know, just saying. And I actually have a brother um, from from that side of the family and apparently they were close, closer to him maybe, I don't know, but my dad and him are estranged and so they don't talk and I don't really talk to my dad uh, much, mainly on birthdays and Christmas, Thanksgiving maybe. And that's about it. 
Um, we're not very close. So, whoops, here I go bumping the camera again. <sighs> I'm really trying to get this ang these angles down for you guys because I want it to be comfortable for me, but also comfortable um, to be able to film um, so I'm not like really awkward behind the camera. Um, I haven't quite figured out the angle yet, but like I said, working on it. Uh, we're just going to keep trying different angles to see how things go. I am pretty picky when it comes to, is it straight? <laughs> um, you know, does it, is it, um, is everything in the frame? Is it straight? Is it, you know, uh, I strive to make sure that you guys can see everything that's going on the whole time and like just want to make sure um, that you're not missing anything really um, and I also don't want to be stretching like way across the table trying to you know do that so Three ten. Three ten. Um, so, like I said, I'm just gonna open one bag each, just because I have extras, and I don't know how much more I will need for this painting, um, because there was leftover drills, obviously, from my niece's version. So, I am keeping my fingers totally crossed that. This will work out because like with my niece's painting the 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 drills on the canvas would stick up and so that would make it really 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 hard let's see that's 9 39 9 39 so it would make the it would make the drills stick day upward even though I took and you know tried to I tried to cut the rivers um, I tried to flatten them with the tip of my pen I tried all of the tips and tricks that usually work for them but this thing was covered in so many rivers that you could see them on camera. Usually you can't even see them on camera. Like I did do a video unboxing. Well, no, I did a video review of the company and then I decided not to release it. Um, but because I, maybe it was a fluke. Um, and they did refund me. So, um, but I was very highly disappointed um, and so I don't like when, when they come covered in rivers, they just, it like the diamonds, the drills have one purpose and that is to lay down on the canvas in a uniform way and not, you know, go crazy and stick out all over the place and yada, yada, yada. So, um, I was pretty bummed out because I was like, please don't get this wrong. I really, like, I even asked them if it was possible for them to do the portrait in a 20 or in a 30 by 30. But honestly, I think it needed to be maybe a, at least a 40 by 40. But that's my fault because... I was really trying to get it the same size as my grandparents' portrait. Um, so, uh, you know, you get what you pay for when you ask for it that way. So, um, if you're not willing to budge on the size, then um, then you get what you pay for, you know. And I was aware of that. So, I was fine. I mean, I, I can still make it out. And, and she, you know, I just think that it needed some more... Um, Maybe some more colors to render it a little bit 
less splotchy, but, um, but yeah, I will do, definitely be, um, posting some feedback about it. $37.99, alright, that one, alright, thirty-seven fifty-six. Maybe the reason that these have, um, maybe the reason that I'm, I left the space is because maybe I had the excess in the bottom ones. I don't remember. It's been a little while since I have done it. I mean, I have put excess in, um, in extra containers before, so it wouldn't surprise me if I did do that. I just don't remember. And like I have said before, this is not my actual normal kitting system. Um, I usually, I usually kit up in my Elizabeth Warden diamond system, uh, bead, bead storage system. So I typically don't use these. I've, just, I've been using them lately because um, I have a kit that's kitted up. I'm going to open two of these just because there's a lot of the color of this color. There's a lot of the last color too, but that one had quite a bit in it. So I'm going to do two of these ones and I just open them both. I put them together and open them both at the same time to make it easier to pour them out. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed, but I folded it together and then cut it. And put that in there. So we just moved into my new apartment in our new apartment and we are having some warm days and we have discovered we have discovered that our AC does not work. Um if it works it does not work well enough for this apartment. <laughs> um because it has been extremely hot in here guys I almost just dumped this whole thing out because I thought that I was pouring it into this <laughs> so I just dumped some on the floor which no big deal the vacuum will clean them up but I mean whoopsie <laughs> I have done that before, by the way. I uh, thought I opened the container and then realized I did not open the container up and dumped out a bag <laughs> or a partial bag. And I am the type that if I dump it out, I am not picking it up because it's probably got some, I got kids, so it's probably got some food in it or some hair. I shed like a cat, so. Um, my, my thyroid disorder gives me the wonderful dry skin and, um, and it also thins out my hair. So, um, not happy about that one, but, you know, I get the luck of the draw apparently. Um, no one, uh, only one of my nieces has an autoimmune disease other than me. Um, my sister uh, may possibly have um, a thyroid disorder as well, we've discovered, but um, she, she's got, they didn't diagnose her with, they just diagnosed her with um, hypothyroidism, so not... Um, not Hashimoto's like I have, so, um, I'm going to go ahead and open two of these ones, because there's so many of them. And this is actually making it a little bit faster, that way this video isn't like eight years long. Yeah, 
you guys if my apartment wasn't so messy right now i'd totally show you my husband doing yoga over there <laughs> he looks like he's praying <laughs> but uh yeah it's pretty uh it's pretty crazy in here right now because of all the moving stuff he's got headphones on sitting on the floor acting like he is doing yoga I, I mean I question it a little bit but I don't know uh, I'm like trying really hard to focus here and he's got his arms waving all up in the air like he just don't care <laughs> oh god And he is also listening to me, which is kind of funny. <laughs> He's supposed to be yoga. <laughs> if I was down on that floor, I'd be asleep probably. <laughs> huh, I wonder how that one got open. Hope I didn't need that color. Hope I don't need more of that color. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna open both of these because there's very little left. So, open them both. Woo! Oh, well, I don't know what happened to it now. Open them both up, put them both in the bag. Thirteen, fourteen. Ah, one just jumped out at me. Okay, one sixty nine. Two more colors left and then I will do some tips and tricks that I do for my square diamond paintings and how I start them. 413, 18, 413. She's kidding up is already taking me 25 minutes or so. Uh, all right, so that was the last color. And then these scissors are really sharp. These are makeup scissors, so. I'm gonna put them face down so that nobody gets stabbed with them. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and put these in the drawer below. Keep them in the baggie until I need them. Cause I will need them. I just didn't wanna have to open them all on camera today because I actually want to get started on this. And I'm gonna do this the way I do most typically, like, um, try to stick with. So, I, I do my diamond paintings in a bunch of different ways. Um, since I started the Dreamer Designs 
doing it by color, I've decided that it kind of leaves a little bit room for error and, and being straight. And since I'm a stickler for being, for the stuff being straight all the time, I'm going to go ahead and, whoops, I'm going to go ahead and do this the way I typically do. So in this portion, what you will need is two old cards. Um, it could be any type of card. Basically, you just need it to have an edge. Um, and I will show you what I do with those. Um, if you are okay with a ruler, you could use a ruler. I tried a, ru a ruler once and I had a hard time like getting it off the double-sided adhesive. Um, I have not tried this with poured glue, nor have I tried this with the poured glue that I have used, so the dot stick. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to show you guys how I start a diamond painting. And I obviously got some of the glue on the outside. Um, as you can see, um, on it, which is no big deal, um, cause that part gets cut off anyway, cause I'm actually going to be framing this one and putting it in a 30 by 30. So it is sticky guys. I mean, really sticky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this on the side of my canvas like this and then I'm going to place this one at the top like that okay so this is how I do these things okay so I peel back a portion this uh, I peel back a portion and then I will work on that section um, I'm gonna do a small section on camera today um, for the purpose of this so um, it looks like there's a bunch of A's and fours so um, I'm gonna show you how I do this first Let me get my magnet out. I don't, my husband is currently using my butterfly one on the refrigerator, so I'll use my heart one to hold it back. Um, I think I'm going to try different, a different magnet for these things, um, because these magnets are funky to me. <laughs> Okay, so A. So then I go and I look for A on my on my jars. And A that's four. Where's A? A is okay. So A is here. So then I will pour some of those in there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move you guys. My knee is like right into the tripod, sorry guys. So I will put my diamond down up against both of my cards. Um, I will look for all of the A's in the first three rows. Which is a little bit hard because A's, um, the, these ones are A's and 4's. So, okay, let me see if I can move my knee back a little bit. There we go. Alright. I can't show you guys my husband because he's in his underwear. <laughs> he's yoga in his underwear. What do you guys think he's trying to pull? <laughs> So then I just find all of the A's in the first three rows. I'm gonna start on the outer row first. 
um, and make sure that these get pushed up against against this card at the top uh, and the reason for this is once you line up a certain portion you should not have any problems keeping your diamonds lined up um, because they should all equal out and if you if you want to do this um, in a different manner like you could do two two trays and just make sure that you don't mix them up because <laughs> you, you're responsible for these and that's what the slip of paper is for actually um, because if you put a bunch of them in the tray then and, and you put the slip of paper in the tray then you know which one which at all times um, so this is how I'm gonna do this and the reason I'm doing this is because I want to make sure they line up um, at least the first three rows like I said after that I will show you what I do um, and this diamond painting I had a little bit of trouble with uh, I feel like the the diamonds were different color or um, sorry different sizes so I feel like I need to be careful because when I was doing my nieces I had enough space almost to like um, I had almost enough space to add a whole a whole extra diamond in it how I don't really know because I followed along so I ended up doing like the first corner and then I got pretty frustrated with the way it was gapping up and stuff and I decided uh, to start on the other side and do checkerboarding which is um, you would do every other one because that would leave a space um, so you would do it like this this is checkerboard method and this is what most some people do for squares um, so you do every other one I just totally laid that down in the wrong spot you do every other one like that and then after you do the amount that you want to do like you do all the checkerboarding then you could go back in and fill in the space but see like for me that leaves a gap so I don't I try not to do it that um, but I mean if all your diamonds are the same size and everything and everything is great then you shouldn't have that issue but I don't know sometimes I for whatever reason have this issue so what I do now is I take it all the way to the end of where the card is so that's that's pretty close so I'm gonna leave it like that so then I'm gonna also come over onto the side here where I'm at because I, this is how I do sections um, I do it based on the size of my card um, that's how I break up my, how I'm going to do my, my grit, my lines, um, until I don't, until I get to the end of this, and then I will, um, start a new grid. Um, so then let me just continue on. And 
so I released a, a whip and ch no, I released um, Color Your World episode number nine. And I realized that I had forgotten a concert. I ran through my mind and um, forgot a very important concert that I went to with my mother. I took my mother to her very first concert. Uh, my mother, um, she listens to oldies and she listens to country. And so I grew up listening to everything. My mom listened to country and oldies. I'm not a big fan of oldies, I'll be honest. But um, my sister listened to like 80s hair bands and, raw, and some rock and roll and um and my brothers listen to like heavy metals metallica and uh you know stuff like that and then as i was growing up i listened to r&b and some rap and so i have like like a plethora of of stuff that i know about different things and because I listened to so much music as a kid and had, you know, like all these different experiences with what the people around me listened to. I mean, my grandparents listened to some real oldies I could, I would like, I would like totally die when I went over there to listen to the music. I'd be like, oh my God. But I got the fortunate you know I got the great memories of my grandmother singing uh, and my mom and my grandma would sing together sometimes and um, I wouldn't have a clue what the heck they were singing but you know we um, we would like whip out the karaoke machine as we got as my grandparents got older and my mom my mom would like bought a karaoke machine so that my grandparents could come over and sing karaoke and you know all that fun stuff and so I grew up listening to them all singing karaoke and my sister and I would sing it too um, my sister made me sing uh, karaoke at her wedding um, and I was pretty shy to sing in front of everybody, so I made my sister-in-law sing with me, <laughs> and that was fun. Um, but my sister always said I sang good, but I'm like, yeah, right, I can't sing. <laughs> so um, even my husband like tries to tell me I have a a nice voice and I'm like I can hear myself like scratching down a chalkboard there's no way that I sound even remotely good what are you guys talking about like whatever so I don't believe them for even a second I think they're just being nice um, but um, so that's actually how my husband and I met we met at a karaoke bar um, I don't drink or anything, but I went there for the karaoke, um, and that's how we met. So I did the first row. Now I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the next two rows. So that's how my husband and I met at a karaoke bar, and. Um, we ended up singing a duet together. He don't remember it though. <laughs> How sad is that? I remember it. So maybe he did leave some kind of impression on me. <laughs> Even though I thought he was a complete dork. Uh, I still think he's a complete dork though. You guys don't get it wrong. <laughs> so, um... Um, yeah, so I took my mom to see her first and only, unfortunately, concert, 
and she got to go see the Judds. They, um, when I was a kid, they had stopped, they had stopped touring together, the mom and the daughter, because the mom got, like, throat cancer or, like, just some kind of throat problem where she couldn't sing anymore, I think, or something like that. Because I remember them announcing that she would not be, she would not be singing with her daughter anymore, and so... Um, it was really sad because they were, you know, fantastic, um, singing and everything, but, um, so my mom was a, a huge Judd's fan, and, um, at the time I was living with a roommate, and, um, uh, she was working but she worked in a in a vehicle, so she'd listen to the radio. And while she was oops, while she was working, she heard that they were giving away Judd's tickets on the radio, and she called and told me, like, "Hey, they're giving away Judd's tickets on the radio. You should call and try to win them." And I'm like, "Yeah, freaking right." No, like I don't I don't know anyone that's ever won any tickets from from the the concert and or you know, to a concert or whatnot, and so, um, I don't remember what the question was, but, um, I did know the answer, and apparently, my roommate got through, but gave the wrong answer, <laughs> and when they picked up the phone, uh, to me next, I guess I was next in line or something, and, um, yeah, I ended up, I ended up winning the tickets, and she was mad, but, um, she's like, what the heck, I, I told you to call, and now you won them, and I didn't, and so I was like, well, so I think she ended up uh, buying tickets, or she won tickets on a different day for it, or something, because I think she did have tickets to go I don't know I can't remember it's been a while ago but like 10 years ago maybe so then um so my mom my mom was staying with my my aunt then she was living with my aunt and she flew out and I took her to the concert and we had like so much fun like She's never been to a concert before in her life, so she was just like, this is so awesome, and, like, I wish I was able to actually have video from it, because that would have been awesome, but, um, you know, I got to sit there and really enjoy, you know, the whole thing with her, the whole experience, so, um, so that is another reason why when... I purchased Aerosmith tickets I wanted to go with my sister um, going as well because my sister is the one that pretty much introduced me to you know Aerosmith and and the 80s hair bands and stuff and so I thought well I went to a concert with my mother I would like to go with the second most important well now third most important person in my life uh, because my sister is kind of like my second mom since she took care of me quite often uh, she babysat me quite often so um well I guess technically she'd be like the you know like sixth person <laughs> I don't know uh, because you know my immediate children and husband are are the most important um and so i feel like i'm having a little bit of the same problem as before with the gapping issues so i'm just trying to do my best to make sure that there's no gapping um Guys, I've done like, 
I don't know, 30 something paintings. And there's no reason other than the fact that maybe either the squares are on the painting are too small, too big, too whatever, or I, you know, I don't really know, but it really bugs me when there's gapping, so I'm trying really hard to ignore some of the guidelines. Um, and like I said, this, this shouldn't even happen. Probably should have started on the other end, but because I'm right-handed, I start in the left corner so that I don't put my arm on diamonds. Uh, that's just my rule of thumb. And so anyway, um, yeah, so I, I took her to her first concert and I don't know how that one slipped my mind. How do I remember my ex taking me to Boys and Twice but I don't remember my mother and I going to a concert like wow. Um, but I didn't really forget, I just um thought I went went through them all I guess. And so um This is how I do my squares. And it like typically works out. Sorry guys, it's really warm in my apartment. So like this thing is sticking to my arm every time I every time I lay a diamond down. Uh so it's gonna probably be moving around a little bit. Okay, so I did the the top three, I did them, and then I'm going to, I'm going to do these over here, going down, trying really hard not to put these on the wrong ones uh, because fours and A's look a lot alike and of course that's majority of this background so this this photo that I'm that I'm doing is a professional photo um, that my mom took and my brother is actually in the picture as well but I had to cut him out which is why it's a little awkward on her shoulders um, because I had to get his head out of there. Um, my mom did not take very many professional photos or like real photos um, very often or if she did um, nobody kept them. So um, this is that a four? See what I mean? I'm like, hold up. Um, so this picture sat in my grandparents' living room on their bookshelf uh, for many, many, many years. And, um, and I don't have, I don't have very many, um, that's four over, one, two, three, four, okay, that's fine, I'm just going to continue, uh, since I've already started, um, but, um, she didn't take very many professional pictures that we have copies of, and so, I gotta use what I gotta, what I have, and, um, that's what I, that's what I wanted to do for, for the portrait, for her, because, 
it's a really nice picture of my mom. Um, you can't tell in this rendition um, of it, but it, she had like really nice makeup and I'm pretty sure that, um, that it had like the, the special, whoops, the special touch ups and stuff on it. Um, special touch-ups on it that they used to do. I think they used to paint them on um, to uh, fix the portrait. So when, when we scanned the picture in, it was pretty light. And then I just um, turned it into a black and white. And because I think the, the black and whites turn out pretty nice, but um, it's kind of crazy that they that they use lilac and and such to make to make it purple or to make it um, black and white. Like it's crazy that your eye will change it to black and white in your mind when you're looking at them all together because lilac is a is a shadow shadowing color so it's pretty cool um, I need some more fours used all of them that I have in here my tray so I'm not having any issues with sticking these diamonds on, um, at, you know, really like, other than the fact that they look a little off because of whatever the reason is, um, but definitely not due to the adhesive, like this is fantastic. Um, I actually look forward to possibly buying a blank canvas in the future and laying some uh, adhesive on it myself and to be able to do a nice a nice painting um, there is a couple that I want to do so um, so it'll be nice but no, like the adhesive is really good. Like I'm not having any problems with putting them down. They're not like, you know, getting stuck in my pen because the adhesive isn't strong enough. Nope, they are coming straight off. No problems at all. And they do slide a little bit. I don't know that I would recommend sliding too much. Uh, just because I don't know at what point it will come up and you don't want it to you don't want it to come up because otherwise then it's going to bunch up and and then possibly make your diamonds raise up higher in that spot than in the, the other one but I mean I think we're doing a fantastic job here done for the day with this painting I'm gonna I'm gonna alternate I think between okay so the person's name is Brit that asked me about about this diamond painting. So per Britt's request of wanting to know how it turned out, I have decided that I'm going to work on this in between my Dreamer designs. 
um, so that I can do both and be able to show, you know, like how this is going to turn out so that if she wants to be able to repair a canvas, she can do that. Um, and um, if you have any questions, I might be able to help you a little bit. Um, you just got to um, send shoot me a message and um, if you have any requests too also um, and I can and if I can do it I definitely will um, so if you want to if you want to think of some things that you might want me to um, show on my channel or whatnot Um, then, yeah, we can, um, we can try to do some, some different things. Um, so these are the main tips. Um, I do like to checkerboard if I feel like they're not lining up right. The wor the worry I have about this one, though, in doing that is I did actually... I did actually start off doing that when I started working on my nieces, I think, at some point, and it just didn't, um, it did not work out. So, right now I'm just trying to put as many down as possible, and we're going to hope for the best. We're going to hope it turns out just as good, um, because I think it turned out okay. Like. Like I said, it could have been a little bigger. That's my fault. Because I was just trying to keep them the same size as my grandparents. Um, so. And for the most part, I only recommend using one color at a time, though, just because. Um, the chances of spilling or putting in the wrong jar are a lot riskier, but, um, you know, we're all adults here, and so if you feel like you can handle it, then hey, definitely do that. Um, I've actually, um, I've actually had at one point, like, 26 colors open at once. Uh, I had like 26 trays sitting out ready to rock and roll and color, 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 uh, or well, diamond paint, diamond paint, diamond paint. And so, um, so yeah, I mean, I, I've definitely done it. And I think that was actually the time that I learned my lesson on not setting, uh, my, my diamond painting trays on my diamond painting because I had a 60 by 60 which takes up a pretty good chunk of this table and I'm fairly certain that it started to fall off the table and I'm pretty sure I spilled at least one of the trays. Um, spilling trays is no fun because that means that you might be short on, if you don't, if you don't pick them up, um, you might be short on a color. Uh, and not being able to complete it if you don't if you don't pick them up and salvage them. Like I said, I have kids, so they like to smash things into the carpet. And no matter how many times I vacuum, it seems that it, that stuff still ends up in them and hair and and everything. But I, I have heard that if you get like a pantyhose um, liner, a, a pair of pantyhose, and put it over the hose on the vacuum cleaner that you can actually 
pick up your diamonds that way. Um, there's also, I've seen also that they have little teeny tiny little vacuums for little like beads and stuff um, that they sell on like Amazon or something. Um, so yeah, definitely um, have options as far as picking them up goes instead of just doing them by hand, which I have um, I have I have done because I don't have pantyhose and I don't have a special vacuum or <laughs> but not but um, it's it's definitely no fun. So this is the foundation that I have laid for my diamond painting. Um, after I am done with this, um, let's see, let's put these away really quick before I forget which ones are which. Looks like I broke my tray. I didn't even realize it for a little bit. <laughs> so they do break. Um, I had a little spout part broke on it. That's not good. Um, I like those flat trays because they're easier to hold than the ones that are slightly like bent. I don't like those ones that much. They hurt my hands. I'm actually still waiting for my big trays to come. There's actually been some movement on my shipping items from China, so I'm happy about that. Um, but one of them is in San Francisco, and it's been there for since the 17th, so it hasn't moved. Don't know when it's going to move, but so far it hasn't moved. <laughs> so, okay, so then um, let me get back to this. When I am done, I will gently remove the card uh, off of there. If you're doing double-sided adhesive, just be very careful because you do not want to pull up the adhesive. Make sure when you're removing it, it is not pulling up the adhesive. And also, I try to make sure it just stays flat because you don't want it to like mess up the diamonds. So. You just pull it off like that. And then this gives it a really good solid foundation of being straight. And um, because it has, you know, multiple rows of itself to push up against. So um, that is what I like about it. And I just use my straightener tool as best I can to try to see if I can make them um, a little more straight if they look a little crooked um, but yeah I mean it, they're pretty darn straight though so I'm okay with that and like I said this gives them a foundation to push up against each other so um, you know like if you try to move multiple rows you can only move about two rows when you're pushing so that gives it a really good a really good foundation point so if i can think of any other tips or tricks that i use for squares i will definitely continue that in this uh in the next segment um but otherwise i probably will just continue to do it as like a whip and chat um style the same with the color your worlds might even just decide to call this also color your world as well probably um and just um do alternating between this painting and uh the dreamer design one that i'm actually working on i actually have a lot of work in progress is going right now i have one two three I have at least three you guys <laughs> I usually don't have as many because I usually don't start things that I don't that I'm um, that I can't finish uh, but for sure you will see these finishes on my channel that is that is one thing that I'm very uh, passionate about is making sure that when I start something on camera for you guys that I finish it at the end so that you can see what it looks like and I'm sorry that this uh, has taken so long it was just um, 
I actually purchased this while I was living in the homeless shelter and the adhesive for, and I pulled the adhesive off one day and then I just you know started working with the uh, the dot stick to see if it would even work because I was pretty much gonna trash this canvas if it didn't work uh, and order reorder it from another company that had a better um, like a port glue method um, I've, I've decided that I don't want to work on any more diamond paintings with um, double-sided adhesive because it just causes a lot of problems so I've decided that if I can't find someone to maybe do it that maybe I'll just have them print it and get sell me the whole kit and then like discount me on no adhesive because I'd rather them just roll it up and send it to me with no no adhesive that I have to pull off because pulling this off was kind of a pain in the butt because it left a sticky residue that I did not want on on my painting um, and you can see over here you can see over here in the corner that I actually tried to um, use some alcohol rubbing alcohol I think it was to kind of try to remove a little bit of the adhesive but it started to remove the ink so I was like forget it I'm not I'm not gonna do that because I want the grid lines on there um, and so I decided to just go with it and is that for me yes I love you and so you're gonna clip your toenails in it though No, <laughs> You're giving me your dirty toe jam nails and no, I'm just kidding um, so um, yeah I I if I if I do that I might just decide to ask them to send it with no adhesive put on it and I could put my own poured glue on it because majority of these companies do not do poured glue and the ones that do are quite expensive and if I already have the poured glue and this stuff works just fine and stays on here it doesn't give me any issues which we will know as soon as I finish this I mean you guys like I expected this to not be that sticky I mean it's got a good grip so I really think I'm liking this adhesive like quite a bit um, now I've never used Eileen's Tacket before uh, but I have heard that it works also and it's actually a bit cheaper than the dot stick so I might actually um, I might actually try to buy a painting with no adhesive and ask them to send it to me with no adhesive and see what they say and then try the Eileen's Tacket or I just might stick with what I know works obviously this seems to work really well um, and I also bought this clear plastic also from Joann's and I don't, not everybody likes the clear plastic. I, however, love the clear plastic because I like to be able to look at my diamond painting and see what it looks like. So I love it and I just manipulate it around. I just move it into whichever points I would like, you know, to open up and so I actually like the, the clear plastic better so I actually bought a whole roll of it so that I could have it I've also saved some from other port glue um, port glue canvases so that I would have it for other projects so um, yeah and I personally just love the whole the whole thing so bye guys thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more diamond painting content